Awaken your spirit, becoming spiritually strong. God has to supernaturally transform believers and non-believers through sudden, intense enthusiasm for serving God. People will sense the presence of God powerfully. They will have conviction, despair, contrition, repentance, and prayer will come easily. People will thirst for God's word. Many authentic conversions will occur and all backsliders are renewed. Today I pray for a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit on myself and on the listener of this prayer. As believers, we need the Holy Spirit to empower us to do the work of the Father, and we need to ensure we are constantly filled with the Holy Spirit, just like the apostles were in the book of Acts. Acts 2 verse 17 to 21 says, In the last days, says God, that I will pour out my Spirit on all flesh, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. On my men servants and on my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days, and they shall prophesy. I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood, fire, and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. When you awaken your spirit, becoming spiritually strong, the Holy Spirit will teach you all things. John 14 verse 26 tells us, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit whom the Father will send in my name, He will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. When you awaken your spirit, becoming spiritually strong, the Holy Spirit will give you power to overcome sin, Galatians 5 verse 16 says, Walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. When you awaken your spirit, becoming spiritually strong, the Holy Spirit will guide you in all truth. John 16 verse 13 says, However, when He, the Spirit of truth, has come, He will guide you into all truth, for He will not speak on His own authority, but whatever He hears, He will speak and He will tell you things to come. When you awaken your spirit, becoming spiritually strong, the Holy Spirit will give you the power and boldness to witness Jesus. Acts 1 verse 8 says, But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be a witness to me in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. When you awaken your spirit, becoming spiritually strong, the Holy Spirit will help you to pray. Romans 8 verse 26 says, Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses. For we do not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit Himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Not all prayers are answers in the way we want. We plans and sometimes our plans are not fulfilled. Our lives can sometimes revolve around ourselves. But God has still more wonderful plans for us if we allow them to be fulfilled. We will only understand Jesus when we receive the Holy Spirit. Just like the apostle needed the grace of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost to fulfill and understand Jesus, so do us. We will wait in prayer like the apostles and the disciples. Tonight we are going to pray for God to awaken our spirits so we can become spiritually strong. Heavenly Father, I thank you for my salvation and all these riches that work in me in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit that is in me in the name of Jesus. Father, by the blood of Jesus, wash me of all my sins and strengthen me by your Spirit in Jesus' name. Father, let the Holy Spirit fill me afresh for fresh unction and power in the name of Jesus. Father, let every unbroken area in my life be broken and revived and renewed me in Jesus' name. Father, incubate me with the fire of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Father, every anti-power bondage in my life break by fire in the name of Jesus. Father, let all strangers flee from my spirit and let the Holy Spirit take control in the name of Jesus. Father, revive my spiritual life and move it to the mountaintop so as to reflect your power in the name of Jesus. Father, revive me and let heavens open and the glory of God fall upon me in the name of Jesus. 
Father, let everything quenching the fire of God in my life come out and die, and let me be revived in the name of Jesus. Father, let everything in the inside of me resisting God to come out, die by fire, and let me be filled afresh with your revival spirit in the name of Jesus. Father, increase my spiritual capacity to pray, to fast, to study your word, and be obedient to your instructions in the name of Jesus. Father, revive us afresh with your spirit, God's principles and values of righteousness, love and justice in the name of Jesus. Father, ignite my spiritual life afresh so that I will stop fishing in unprofitable waters in the name of Jesus. Father, release your tongue of fire upon my life and burn away all spiritual filthiness present within me in the name of Jesus. Father, make me hunger and thirst for righteousness and everything that exalt your holy name in the name of Jesus. Father, engrave me to do your work with this revival spirit regardless of the mockery of man in Jesus' name. Father, place your heart within my heart, O Lord, and set me apart from your work in Jesus' name. Father, let this revival fire engulf me and raise me from it to do your will and your work in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, by this spiritual revival, raise men of great faith and of wisdom. From the body of Christ, I will turn things around for good globally in the name of Jesus. Father, by this revival, let there be reign of your word upon all flesh that will bring about mighty works in the body of Christ globally in the name of Jesus. Father, let the Holy Spirit breathe afresh upon all souls and establish righteousness both in our hearts and in the land in the name of Jesus. Father, send the purging fire of revival into our hearts in the body of Christ in the name of Jesus. Father, by this revival fire, operate and burn the bad roots that produce bad fruits in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, by this revival of the Spirit, let our altar of prayer be revived and remain forever on fire for greater impact in the body of Christ in Jesus' name. Father, through this spiritual revival, pour out your Spirit upon the young, the old, and even the maid servants by your word for greater impact on the earth in the name of Jesus. Father, send the rain of your revival power upon us and let it break every evil stronghold holding the people hostage and preventing them from serving you in Jesus' name. Father, send the rain of the resurrection power to dislodge every gate of hell, resisting the salvation of souls that are ordained to be saved in Jesus' name. Father, by this spiritual revival, shake every desert and wilderness facing the church of Christ on earth in the name of Jesus. Father, by this spiritual revival, let the gates of our villages, our towns, our cities, our nations, and the world be open for the King of Glory to come in, in Jesus' name. Father, by this spiritual revival, let the scattered gates of the church be repaired by the Holy Spirit for mightier impact in the earth, in Jesus' name. Father, by this spiritual revival, destroy every demonic foundations laid in our villages, our towns, our cities, and nations, and let those places be turned to places of your worship, in the name of Jesus. Father, by the power of this revival, crush every power, authorities, and principalities, rulers, and wicked spirit in the heavenlies, earth, and the sea that wages war against believers in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, by your mighty hand, let many receive Christ as their Lord and Savior in this powerful prayer in the name of Jesus. Father, by your power, silence every altar speaking against your children day and night in Jesus' mighty name. Father, by your mercy, Heal our families of all evil that has been done to them in the name of Jesus. Father, revive your people. Visit us in a new way. Pour out your spirit upon us. Break the hardness of sins in our lives and take over our lives in Jesus' name. Father, by this spiritual revival, raise a victorious army to stand in the gap of our generation, a people who shall call upon you day and night in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, Pour out your Holy Spirit like a mighty flood into the hearts of all your people, those who are called by your name. May our hearts be washed by the water of the word, and may the purifying light of the Holy Spirit cleanse the thoughts, wash the hearts, and purify the minds of those who are a part of the church, which is your body. Lord, we pray that you will purify the hearts and minds of all your people, so that our thoughts are always turned towards the Lord Jesus. May we as individual members and also as bodies of believers learn to seek your will in our lives so that our prayers are filtered through the light of your will. 
so that they are turned into your perfect plans and purposes. May the desire of our believers be to lift up your name so that you are honored in the fellowships in local churches in his rightful position as head. And may the Lord Jesus remain the central focus of the intent of our hearts. Lord, we pray that you will revive the hearts of all believers, and especially those who have left their first love, become involved in a distorted gospel, falling into legalism, or become lukewarm towards you. Draw each one back into right relationship with you and with each of them. Revive your people, we pray, and turn the hearts of all your people back to yourself. Holy Father, we humble ourselves and acknowledge your righteousness judgment upon our sins. Righteous God, please send overwhelming love, godly fear, and genuine repentance among your people. Righteous God, grant to us a mountain-moving faith and passion for fervent prayer. Holy Father, please bring us to loving unity in our church and deep harmony between our churches. Heavenly Father, please fill us with the burning passion to pray and for witness to the lost. Lord of the harvest, Please call thousands into ministry, into missions, and Christian witnesses. Holy Father, we ask you to deepen and purify our very motive in prayer for revival and blessings. Lord, we plead for your grace upon persecuted saints around the world. We ask you to rain the heavens and show forth your awesome presence in sweeping revival. Father, by the Holy Ghost, heal me of every form of prayer infirmity so I can continue to prevail in my prayer life. Father, by the Holy Ghost, strengthen me with might in my inner man so I can continue to prevail on the altar of prayer. Father, by the Holy Ghost, empower my prayer and fasting life into next level so I can continue to grow in power and command higher levels of spiritual authority. Father, in the name of Jesus, endow me afresh with the spirit of grace and supplication so I can remain on fire in my prayer life. By the help of the Holy Ghost, empower my prayer life so I can be full partaker of the blessings of this ongoing revival. Lord, I ask you for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Pour out your Spirit on us. We need revival. Pour out your Spirit on both men and women, young and old, slave and free. Pour out your Spirit. Clean out our ears so we can hear your word and speak your word. Let us move in the gifts of the Spirit. Prepare us for the epic battle ahead. Do a shock and awe campaign that sends chill down the back of the wicked. Make this car your billboard advertising you are alive and well. Make our job easy. In this outpouring of your spirit, we are asking for souls. Give us a harvest of people calling on your name. We request a mass escape from the kingdom of darkness. Give us a total jailbreak. When they call on your name, you will save them. People who have survived slavery and abuse in the kingdom of darkness will run free. They will discover the freedom found in your kingdom, your governance, your rule. Father, in desperation and in faith, we ask for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit and for the advancement of your kingdom. In the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, amen.